What's up, everyone? Welcome to Sin on the Chat. Okay, my name is Sin. I hope everybody is doing great out there tonight. Um, so I'm doing this quick video once again on your boy Diddy. Okay. Um, if you guys didn't see, this is like this. I was actually kind of shocked when I saw this. All right. Um, look, I was about to go to bed and I was like, let me do a quick video on this because I was shocked. All right. And let's, let's get into this, into what I'm talking about here. Okay. So if you guys did not see, um, the shade room posted a message that Cassie's new man I, i'm not sure if they got married but cassie's boyfriend or husband alex fine took a shot at puff okay um and this is on the heels of puff just dropping this song with bryson tilla about um i guess there was some reference to his relationship with cassie about her finding a new man and him just having to move on it's like whatever right like honestly puff has a terrible history and like no i don't feel bad for him or whatever it, it's kind, it kind of sounded like he was like trying to play victim like she just left him but you know neither here nor there he he put the song out the song is trash also um i'm just keeping a buck i'm not a fan um he put the song out and cassie's man was not here for it okay so if you guys did not see what the shade room posted up Take a look at this, because I'm not going to lie. I had to do a double, triple take, all right? Um, let me just bring this up on the screen here so we can take a look at it together. Um, okay, so you guys see it says, um, Happy Pride to all my LBGTQ plus friends. Um, it says, Attached is a charity that helps people who are in the closet and gotta move on along with other resources okay um for those of you that are not in the know okay puff daddy has had this cloud over his head for decades now okay since i could remember um in the 90s people would always say that puff you know, was gay. He was into men. He was down low or he was bi or whatever the case, right? Um, and honestly, you guys, uh, this is all allegedly because he's never come out and said anything. But I have something that I'm going to drop for you guys that is pretty shocking. And I want you guys to stay until the end and watch this entire video, okay? It's going to be short, but I want you guys to stay through so I can play a clip of something that someone saw with Puff Daddy, okay? Another celebrity. And I want you guys to listen to what this guy says because it's some pretty shocking revelations, okay? But like I said, these rumors, there have always been rumors about Puff dealing with men. I lived in New York, grew up, born and raised in New York. So I used to hear it all the time. Everyone knows if you're from New York, you're from LA or whatever, in one of these big cities, that are big on like in the industry, you always know someone that knows someone that knows someone that is involved in some things in that industry, right? So we would always hear these things about Puff from since I can remember. Um, I was just shocked that somebody like him, like Cassie's man, with a platform and who knows he's going to get some recognition um making a statement like this that he had the balls to come out and take this subliminal shot at puff okay he he caps he used the title of puff's new song gotta move on okay in the caption to let it be known like yes this is a subliminal shot this is at diddy okay and it talks about being in the closet guys i mean is this a coincidence? I don't think so. Your girl Cassie was letting Alex know some shit. She, look, ladies, this is what happens. Guys, you know, when you're with someone, when you're in a relationship with someone for that long, you are going to know all their dirty secrets, all of the crazy things that they're into, 
You're going to know everything, okay? And I'm sure Cassie has seen and heard some shit when it comes to Puff, okay? Um, it, I'm still shocked that he went this far, and I think it's kind of funny. But I also, also, I made a video the other day about Young Miami and Puff, and this is why I think Puff will not commit to anyone. I think Puff, it, I, I can believe the rumors that they've been saying about him, okay? Um, I can believe that. I'll say that. And I, and I think that that may be one of the biggest reasons why he has not committed to one woman, uh, one woman. Okay, um, so there's a lot to dig in when it comes to that stuff, but that's for a whole nother video. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you guys a clip of another celeb. I can't remember who it was. I think he was an actor, comedian. But anyway, it was another celebrity who walked in and saw some sus behavior, okay? And I don't want to say sus like it's a bad thing, you know, like to each his own, whatever, whatever they do. It's just that it has been such a rumor for so long and he has never come out and just said it. Not He doesn't need to. He doesn't owe anyone any explanation. But I think it's funny because he he presents something else to the world. OK, so these things are always interesting to me because I'm always like jaw drop. But now in today's day and age, nothing really shocks me anymore. But this is still tea and it's still very interesting so let me go ahead and play this clip for you guys okay um and i want you guys to let me know what you think all right and i'm i'm just gonna play this for you guys okay so you can hear um some of the things that have been said about puff um throughout the years this is just one instance where someone has spoken out um in regards to some um questionable behavior when it comes to puff and other men okay so i'm gonna play this for you guys now okay. you want people to know about oh. i don't know if the story that i have about p diddy is a thing oh, i love know i about. love it you, you think it's something we didn't talk about it on the show but you told us off the show should i just tell you yeah i mean okay. i'd love to i mean listen this isn't alleged because you it happened no to no, you. no there's nothing alleged about this okay it is a legend <laughs> <laughs> Let me, I had to pause that. So you heard the guy. He's like, no, 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 no. This is there's nothing alleged about this. This is a legend, okay? Like he's stamping that. He's saying, no, no, no. This is official tissue, okay? Um. So here we go. Let's continue. Clap, 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 We clap. are comedians. <laughs> All right, we're, go for it. We're so lonely. So, um, so. I'm fucking goblins. I went to a party on Star Island in Miami uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. I mm -hmm. had no business being there. Mm -hmm. I was with a famed uh, house producer who was DJing the party. Sure. And I will keep his name out of it. Yep. And I took a whole bunch of ecstasy because everyone there was taking ecstasy. It was basically me and like beautiful like ethnic models, mm -hmm. like just beautiful women who I obviously had no interest in. Cause, like, yeah, that's it's a, like, the big pimpin' video. that's not my type. Right. <laughs> we're going to stick to Peppa, please. Yeah, we're going to stick to Peppa, <laughs> Peppa. And, and ghouls from Us Weekly. <laughs> right, right. Um, so I'm, I'm like kind of stumbling around. It's like, you know, it's all like, you know, my man is telling me that like, you know, every third person is some executive, mm -hmm. you know, got behind the scenes guys who I don't recognize. It's a high-end crowd. Very high-end. And okay. there's no joke, there's maybe 100 people. Okay. I mean, it is intimate. It's a serious I have serious no party. business being there. Sure. Let me just pause this. Um, these are the types of gatherings the these are why we have these rumors about illuminati and all of that stuff it's because of gatherings like this and the type of shit that goes on inside of these gatherings okay um so let's continue i'm in like a you know like an old jewish grandmother's windbreaker like i am now <laughs> right, at this right, exact moment right and um so long story short i I'm on ecstasy and I'm trying to find the bathroom mm -hmm. and I can't find the bathroom and I just kind of like go down a flight of stairs and now I'm in like the inner windings of the mansion because yeah. most of it's going down by the pool. Okay. You know, cabanas and stuff. Dragon's lair. Yeah, get dragon, right? yeah we're getting serious. So I get lost yeah. and I'm in like just a maze of rooms. Yeah. Now I'm looking for the bathroom. I start opening doors. One's like a closet. One's a room. It doesn't have a bathroom in it. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, every room should have a bathroom in it. That makes sense. First of all, if you're in this fucking every dungeon, room should yeah, have, right. every house should so have So I open yeah. a door and in that room, there are a bunch of men, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're all kind of like very like Romanesque, like laying about and, you know, kind of like very like kind of leaning on each other, not really spooning, but like conversationally spooning. Like if you were spooning, but facing each other and like leaning up on your elbow and like, talking. Like how about this? Like in public watching TV with a bunch of your friends and you're with your girlfriends. Right. Yes. It would be like those guys kind of lounging on their girlfriends, but they're not fucking because that no, would be weird in public. Fucking, right. Like you almost think that they should be feeding each other grapes, oh. you know, stuff like that. Okay. Like, it was very the like regal lounging. Very erotic. OK. All right. Heavy erotic. Yeah. Like uh, like the drawings you would see of like old Greek. Yes. Uh, right, hangouts. Exactly. Yeah, I or, like a, or like a fat girl going like laid on her side. Yeah, it you would know? almost be the prelude to an orgy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. It was so prelude okay. to an orgy. So it's so, so I look. So I have. I'm there for a very brief amount of time because I open the door and clearly I'm not supposed to be in there. And I look, and who is lounging in my direct eye line? Puff Daddy hmm. and Felix the House Cat, famed house music producer. Yeah. No, I know are who that is. Basically spooning each other. <laughs> I swear to God, they're basically spooning and they're drinking a glass of Hennessy. And they're like sharing it. They're like passing it back and forth. And everyone's talking. And everyone's just like talking. Yeah. And then as soon as I see them, I'm like, all men though. There's not all one men, woman in this room. All men. And yeah. they're all, they're all 100% on ecstasy. Like you can see Diddy's in like white linen being like, oh my oh god, my god. <laughs> like rub eyes on my nipples. Right. You know, like <laughs> right. oh, you're one of my best friends. Right. So the minute I make eye contact with him, like a gigantic bouncer comes over and says, like, "Get the fuck out!" Because a lot of people turned and looked at me because it was very unexpected that it, like a fat guy with an afro, right. with, like no shirt on, basically like a, an open windbreaker, <laughs> right. opened the door to like this like you are. Kind of a buzzkill. Talk about you want people. I mean, <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? I mean, there you go. This is one of many stories that have been told about Puff. Okay. That guy sounded legit, okay? What do you guys think about that? Um, why would you be in a group, in a room full of men take rolling on E? I mean, we know what E does, right? Um, sharing a glass of Henny with another man, pretty much spooning him. And, bruh, I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all know what's going down. So, I mean, I... Let me know your thoughts on this, okay? Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think like there's some truth to this? Like, I think he should just come out and just like own it at this point. You know, I feel like he's just like Puff. He's like a mogul. He's an icon. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference in today's day and age. But I mean, but I believe it. I'm I'm sorry, I believe it. I believe it. I believe there's some truth. Where there is fire, there is smoke. Um, so let me know you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about Alex Fine? Cassie's man calling Puff out like that. That is so that's ballsy. I'm just I was shocked he did it. But anyway, um, I'm out. That's my little video for tonight. Okay. Um, I'm out. And um, let me know your thoughts, comment, like, subscribe to my channel, show me some love, okay? And I will continue to make um, videos when I have some time, um, because I do enjoy making these videos, all right? I'm a hip-hop head, I love everything about the culture, I love entertainment, I love chatting with everyone, and um, yeah. So let me know your thoughts, comment below, and I'm out.